Yo, what is going on dudes? My name is Tezza, welcome. This is some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and the reason I'm posting this instead of franchise mode is kind of a little bit of a long-ish story, or not long-ish at all, but anyway, uh, I was editing down my franchise mode, which as I've, already in uh, as I've already said, make sure that you stick around for and subscribe if you haven't already to make sure that you check it out because it is my favourite game that I've played so far in my franchise mode. It was so intense and you will be able to look forward to that tomorrow, I promise. Uh, but anyway... Like I said, um, I was as I was editing it, uh, I had some company come round, family members and what have you, and then I looked at the clock, and well, it is now 15:48. I start work in around half an hour, and I will not get back in till around 1, 2 in the morning. So uh, yes, I realised that I would not be able to finish the editing in time, let alone get it, uh, do the commentary, the audio. Uh, get it rendered, uploaded and all that stuff so uh, yeah I'm a little bit disappointed to compose that but never mind you will get to enjoy it tomorrow and for now I kind of had a topic that I wanted to talk about regardless and it is kind of the state of YouTube I saw Dunbar Snapbar did a video on this the other day and I'm not kind of jumping on his bandwagon or anything because me and him were actually talking about this topic and we were talking about kind of the state of YouTube and where it is now and how much it has changed and we were kind of going on about how hard it is and mainly that's what, it, it's quite sad really, that's what I'm going to be talking about because if you think about it, many, a uh, good four years ago, like before commentary was even big, it, was, it wasn't easy to get big, you still had to work hard, but YouTube nowadays is so saturated, there are so many people doing it, and I am one in a massive, massive sea of people doing it. And uh, back in the day, Call of Duty really did make YouTube what it is today. The gaming community really has helped YouTube uh, in general. And that is one thing that is kind of significant because the gaming community was really started off by things like Call of Duty. And um, back in like COD 4 days and World at War, when it really took off, um, there was not so many people posting it. There was big names. You look back now and you had uh, Hutch, Cenanas. Or seen as was actually inspired by Hutch, as far as I'm aware, and um, oh, what was his name? There was so many YouTubers back then. You know, Wings of Redemption is one of the originals. They used to do Call of Duty commentaries, and back then it would be get a decent game, and it wasn't even didn't even have to be too decent by today's standards. Record over it, and then just put the gameplay title in there, or if you was talking about a topic, just put the topic in the title, and that was it. Off you go, and that is how people used to do videos, and that's how people got big. Nowadays, it is nothing like that. There are so many people doing Call of Duty, and the Call of Duty community in YouTube is just far too saturated that no one can even grow by doing Call of Duty videos. There is that many out there. Nothing is original. Nothing is sacred. Every idea is used and manipulated by every other YouTuber. So it gets to the point where everyone's made twenty thousand videos of one kind of topic and that is kind of disappointing so you have to stand out and you have to be unique and back when I started it's still what it was pretty saturated then like not even compared to now now it's just so busy and it's just really really hard to grow so I do not obviously do Call of Duty as a main thing I do it to talk about little random topics like this and that is okay I think if, if this is more for my subscribers this isn't to grow what I do to kind of grow is obviously do baseball things and things that aren't as saturated I, can't, I don't think the baseball community is as to but it is sad because when I kicked it off uh, doing YouTube and I had a dazzle or not even before then when I had a easy cap I would go ahead and do Call of Duty montages and they were okay, nothing compared to what they are today because the standards of those today as well, it's all about standards and all sorts and it's just so hard and then like it's so saturated, it's damn near impossible uh, to do anything in YouTube. It's all about who can do giveaways and who has the best tips and tricks and who puts more capital letters in their titles and stuff. And it's kind of sad really to see the state of YouTube because it's, I wouldn't say YouTube is dying, YouTube's just being nothing like it used to be you can't post Call of Duty gameplays like you used to everything has to be like I said tips or tricks or who's the first to know this or capital letters or new information or leaked to this and linked to that and it's annoying because someone like me who's done YouTube for a long time and I've never really grown too much till recently until I actually realized that Call of Duty is not the way forwards and I've broken into things like baseball I've done some NFL done some FIFA uh, really spiced up my content and made it a bit more variety uh, kind of you know done then it has helped me grow uh, I'm no way near 
I'm not even close to being big, but I'm just doing okay because at the end of the day, you know, you can watch my baseball content or you can go ahead and watch some bigger YouTubers. You can go ahead and watch, you can watch Dunbar Snapbar, you can watch uh, Nardis Fan, you can watch like, Swami. So why would anyone go ahead and watch me when there's all these videos out there already? Basically, that is pretty much it, folks. It's just sad to see where YouTube is, and that's my two cents on the state of YouTube. It's not, it's not dying, it's just changing. Anyway. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, folks. If you didn't, don't worry. I love you all, dudes. And I'll see you in my franchise video tomorrow. Can't wait for that. Goodbye.